Hello everyone, this is our 2016 Mercedes-Benz E350 with 40,113 miles. It's been wrapped a uh, really nice satin white, but the paint is gloss white underneath, um, so the door jams and everything flow very nicely. There's not a stark contrast. Uh, the wrap looks really nice, and as you can tell, it has quite a bit of personality just from the sun reflecting off of it. Lots of uh, kind of sparkle and shimmer, a little bit of maybe pearl, some color shift in there. Not anything dramatic, it's still pretty subtle, but just gives it a lot more personality than just a regular gloss white would, in my opinion. Uh, the wrap was done really well. All the edges are hidden really nicely. Nothing's really peeling up. Front driver's side fender, looks good. Front driver's side wheel, a little bit of discoloration there. Um, so on the spokes there, that does not wipe off, it's not dirt. Carbon mirrors. Front driver's side door, looks really good. Uh, the only way I could really notice that this was a wrap is when you open the door you can see some of it kind of bubble right there, um, which is natural when you have that much stretch for a vinyl film. Um, it kind of just does that. But otherwise it's really difficult to tell just from the exterior. Um, rear driver's side door looks great, no marks. Driver's side rear quarter panel, a little bit of scratching there, a little bit of marking. But the good thing about a vinyl wrap is that you can just have this panel replaced and it's very inexpensive to just have a segment done. Um, small mark down here as well. Rear driver's side. Some of the finish coming off there on the wheel. But overall, it doesn't look bad. It's not a glaring defect. It's just a, a small nuance. Looking at the back of the vehicle. Gloss black trunk lip and accent pieces there, the badging, and above the plate uh, mounting point. The E350 badge has been plastic dipped black. They did a pretty good job, it's not super obvious. Back bumper looks great. No marks, no wear, nothing like that. Trunk lid looks great, face of the trunk lid. Super clean, no issues in the back. Passenger rear quarter panel. Looks excellent, no flaws. Rear passenger wheel, a little bit of scratching there, but overall in good shape. Rear passenger door, looks really good, no issues. Front passenger door. Small nick in the vinyl down there, small rock chip. A couple really small chips in the uh, side skirt as well. Passenger mirror, perfect. Driver passenger mirrors don't have any issues. Front passenger fender looks excellent. And the front passenger wheel looks incredible as well. So I'll go ahead and walk around the vehicle from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we like to do these comprehensive walk around videos to give our out of state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from a site unseen if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day to day basis. It helps to separate the larger, more obvious flaws from the smaller, or less significant ones, helping to give you a better overall understanding of the true condition of the vehicle. And hopefully, I've done that. Super clean A350, very well taken care of. The vinyl wrap looks really good gives it a little extra personality. Uh, and just to be clear, this is not a 4 so this is a rear-wheel drive variant of this car. Really nice, um, kind of a silk beige and brown interior combo in this car. Perforated leather seats, twilight sensing headlights, one-touch windows for all four doors, heated power adjustable memory seats. It is a turnkey car, does not have keyless go. Um, as you saw, the steering wheel, the steering wheel tilt down. Uh, it does have easy entry and exit. So when you shut the car off, 
I think it should. Yeah, you open the door of the steering wheel tilts up. Close the door, turn the car on. Steering wheel tilts down. Does that automatically, so it's just easier to get in and out of the vehicle. They're in the gauge cluster, 40,113 miles. Very low miles for this uh, particular year make model of car. Typically these are pretty high mileage cars, but not this one, it's been absolutely babied. Nav, Bluetooth, CD player, heated seats, rear power sun blind. Push that and then you see the power sun blind go up. Pretty nice to have on a hot sunny day. Dual zone automatic climate control, the AC blows ice cold. Cup holders there, different driving modes, eco and sport, infotainment controls here. Super clean cars, personally, I've owned three of them. I love these. Maintenance is very affordable, very simple. These cars will run forever if you take care of them. Uh, a little bit of wear here. Some of the buttons have some of the uh, finish kind of chipping off. Uh, they're known for that. But this one doesn't have the uh, notorious cracked leather armrest. And this is not cracked either. That happens in a lot of these E350 cars. Or I guess the just 2011 to 2016 E-Class. Um, sometimes this will kind of wear and fade out. But this doesn't have any of the typical... Um, E-Class cosmetic faults except for the button uh, markings kind of starting to fade away and even then it's not bad here on the window switches you've got just a little bit there not very dramatic at all I would still say this car is very well kept especially because it's prone to having that happen so even if you do take very good care of it it's probably something that's just going to happen anyways so I have the front driver's seat adjusted to my driving preference. I'll go ahead and do the back seat test. 6'1", 200 pounds, pretty easy to get in. Um, I don't have all the space in the world, but I will say I'm, I'm fairly comfortable. Uh, I have headroom, I have legroom. My knees fit into these cutouts here in the back seat perfectly. Uh, great job, Mercedes, for designing your seats like that. Also, just wanted to add, we have all weather floor mats for all four uh, positions in the car. So yeah, I'm comfortable, I fit fine. Um, not a ton of room back here, but there's enough. I'm not contacting any part of the car, but the seat. So pretty decent mid-size sedan room in there. <coughs> and here we have the 3.5 liter V6 absolute unit somehow manages to make a respectable amount of torque and still get incredible fuel economy um this thing will get pretty close to 30 if not touch 30 if you're uh, driving at a respectable speed on the freeway very impressive out of a what i would consider a pretty heavy v6 car and it's naturally aspirated no turbocharger supercharger nonsense very simple car Fairly inexpensive as far as Mercedes goes to maintain these and they run forever super reliable cars this is a fantastic daily driver this one's been very well kept has a really nice wrap on it that's not loud it's not an overstatement it just gives it a little bit of personality and uh, extremely low miles so it it will <laughs> have a ton of life left in it it will outlive your grandkids so that is our 2016 Mercedes-Benz E350. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this car on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.